Prologue to Hayat Abdel Hazad, The Life of Abdul Al Hazred, as written by Rahaz Al Nahas. Hearken, and I shall tell you of Al Hazred, greatest of sorcerers, who, born a slave and cast from the Caliph's court, was raised by ghouls in the desert of Arabia, for it was with them he learned the secrets of flesh, blood, and of the desert moon. Hearken, and I shall tell you of Alhazred, greatest of wizards, who, by listening to the whispering stones of the ruined palace of Babylon, heard the dreams of Nebuchadnezzar, and the transactions of his court, for, in the dreams of ancient kings, are found powerful portents. Hearken, and I shall tell you of Alhazred, greatest of conjurers, who, through the music of the rocks at Gobastan, danced with the jinn and the creatures of worlds unseen, for even a freet prince is found in Alhazred a mighty ally. Hearken, and I shall tell you of Alhazred, greatest of astrologers, who, as he gazed into the vault of heaven, could see the rise and fall of empires, and read the history of ages past and of ages yet to come. For when Alhazred read the stars, kings cowered, and emperors trembled. Hearken, and I shall tell you of Alhazred, greatest of magicians, who, by opening portals in the travertine pools of Pamukkale, passed into the realm beyond sleep and wakefulness, where the stars are strange. For in that world the elder things still dwell, and their knowledge can be harvested. Hearken, and I shall tell you of Alhazred, greatest of necromancers, who, in the crypts beneath Memphis, called Menes, dread pharaoh of Egypt, from his tomb, and then laid him down again. For it is in the mummified dead that the wisdom of the ancients is preserved. And when Alhazred communed with the deathless dead, no secret was safe. Hearken, and I shall tell you of Alhazred, greatest of summoners, who, on the bank of the Sea of Galilee, brought forth beings that would terrify even the shaitan demon princes, for, when you are as he was, you can stare unblinking into the blackest abyss, and into the pallid eyes of that which issues from it. Hearken, and I shall tell you of Alhazred, greatest of augurs, who, by pulling the stomach from the red heifer of Mosul, foretold the caliphate's defeat at Marjardabil, and subsequent defeat at the Khazars before the city's walls, for— when you can read the fate of nations in the entrails of beasts, the scheming of princes concerns you not. Hearken, for Alhazred's tale is the tale of a man who could walk the crimson desert that makes corpses of other men, converse with the spirits and monsters that dwell therein, and come back living from the desert. Hearken, for Alhazred's tale is the tale of a man who walked the streets of Irem, lost city of pillars, smote by the prophet Had for its wickedness, and found therein the amulet of Enctate, that allowed him to see all, yet remain unseen. Hearken, for Alhazred's tale is the tale of a man who has crawled through the tunnels of the accursed nameless city, and gleaned from its glyph-covered burial chambers the secrets of time and spirit, that the ancient reptile race had known. Hearken, for Alhazred's tale is the tale of a man who rebuilt the high places, which the caliphs had destroyed, and erected altars there, not for Baal or a loser, but to those beings beyond the ken of even the wisest in the caliph's court. Hearken, for Alhazred's tale is the tale of a man who could read the history of beings from beyond our world in ancient runes, and divine the spells that might bring them back. Hearken, and I will tell you of great Alhazred, for, before his power, all other magic pales, even the wizardry of Solomon, and the jinn he kept in thrall. Hearken, I say, for of all the things I know, of this I am most certain. There are no gods but the elder gods, and Alhazred is the harbinger of the doom they bring. If you enjoyed this production, please subscribe to the channel, and join Infinite Black's inner circle on Patreon for behind-the-scenes access, and to receive more Journey to the Tree of Sorrows materials.